breakfast is being served here at Standing Bear. Homemade salsa, yeah. And we're gonna go sit in the little kitchen area instead. It'll be easier to eat. But look, we got the fire going this morning. What's up? This is my coffee cup this morning. Very mm -hmm. hyper trash. Wow. Thank you very much. Impressive. Are you? Yes. I am. <laughs> my level of hyper trash is improving. Yeah, when you get a good amount of house, you build a little. Good morning, or good afternoon, since it's officially noon, before I'm giving you my hello message for the day. It is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Uh-oh. I gotta watch out. I'm pretty good about getting tricked. It is day 22 on the trail. I kind of doubt we'll get to camp at Max Patch because supposed to get down into low 20s which I could handle uh, but I don't know the winds are supposed to be heavy into the teens and 20s and I think it said gusts up to 35 so I'm not terribly hopeful about that but never say never we'll just see what it looks like when we get there it's the never-ending climb not as bad as the one out of the NOC though so I should not complain Woohoo! almost at the top Up here is a weird communications tower. We're gonna go have a look-see and find a side that blocks the wind to have a little wind break. Ooh, weird. Just had a good chat with Kirk there and I can tell you a little bit about this thing now. This is called, well, this is Snowbird Mountain. This is a VOR, a Vector Omnidirectional Range. And those little things right there, they call mailboxes, and they each point a different degree or direction. And these are used for airplanes. So when a plane would take off from an airport, they would use these VORs as like a little map, like head to this one on Snowbird, then head to this one over there, and those little mailboxes would put out a signal to the planes. And they're getting phased out, but they've been trying to phase them out for 20 to 30 years. It'll eventually be replaced by GPS because the planes can do a more direct route. Bye, Kirk. That's pretty interesting. I had never heard like what this was, so glad to know. Good, good thing for friendly people who are willing to explain things to you. This right here is one of the reasons I love through hiking. These rolls are so delicious. They are 350 calories each. I would never eat this in real life anymore, but I can't wait to dig in. Nice campsite, look at that. Max Pack sure is making us work for it. This is steep. I stopped at the last water source before Max Patch and filled up. Again, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I want to be prepared. I don't wanna miss an opportunity because I wasn't prepared. All right, you're almost there. Final climb. Now for anyone who's not familiar with Max Patch, it's a bald and balds are treeless summits so you usually have excellent views from them and max patch is a really well known one because it's such a large area and such a fantastic view all the way around i just passed a couple who was coming down and they said it was pretty darn windy up there that they didn't stay long Burr.
this is the one spot I had in mind that could have maybe worked because it's got this hill above it, but it's still pretty windy. It would be a pretty uncomfortable night. So we're going to push on about two more miles to the shelter. That's okay. If you're wondering how cold it is, it is needle ice cold. Y'all look, <laughs> they have blankets, <laughs> even blankets and chairs and coffee and snacks and fruit and the burritos are cooking. Oh my goodness. Let's look oh. really darling. <laughs> this is Susie and Al. There are trail angel angels doing a little hiker feed this morning. Thank you guys. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Why are y'all doing this? Do y'all have a hiker you know or like how'd you get into this? We. This we guy? They were our first trail angels when we hiked in cool. 18. So. Yeah, and what were y'all's names again? I'm sorry. Uh, she's Which Way and I'm Next Step. Which Way and Next Step. Very cool. That's We fun. met them in Franklin. Uh huh. And that was it. Yeah. It gets in your blood, right? Yeah. We got five and a half miles into town. Let's do it. Fueled by burritos and Dr. Pepper and coffee. Yay, hot springs! We're coming, hot springs! All right, we made it 17.9 miles today, and it's a good thing because my feet are feeling it. Look, it's not our usual friend, but it's two other hikers. Yay! For today, at least. Right as you hop off the trail, here's Laughing Heart. Look how cute. Whoa! I was not expecting what Here's the inside of Laughing no. Heart. Kitchenette. The food is. I didn't Let's notice go. any difference until you said. This is me, and it's the Blue Ridge Hiking Company. Just a cute little trailer. Let me show y'all the inside while no one's around. Nice open living room. Nice, ooh, can we just admire these lemon curtains real quick? Those are right up my alley. So you got a kitchen area, very nice. You got a private room over there, which I'm not gonna go in because someone else is in there right now. And then this is their six bunk room, which right now they are limiting to three people. And here is the bathroom with the, uh, shower that has received such high reviews. Yes, very nice tile work. I approve. Nice shower head. Looking forward to that. But first, even though I usually shower before going to town for the poor people so they don't have to smell me, some other hikers were going right now. So we're going to go have some lunch while we're smelly. Here is Z Diner, Smoky Mountain Diner. And it already smells so good. I'm so excited about this. They're in town. I was gonna go with the green beans, but then you let it just Yeah. Then it's like a carpenter, a really good carpenter. Um, Greek salad, mashed taters. Yum, yum. Been waiting for this for a long time. Let me show you what I ordered. I'm super excited. Oh, can't tell what it is yet. Oh, oh, hold on. Look, it's the bear bag with the bear waving. He's saying, hey. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, I'm dying laughing inside right now. So excited to use this. Just a backpacker cruising through town. Gonna get back on the trail. The trail runs right outside my window. How cool is that? This is true hiker trash right here. Look at him. Just chilling on someone's lawn. I know one of them, so it's okay. <laughs>
The outfitter. Here's all the finishers. Top the sign. My favorite items in the store. Trash panda. Poppy squirrels. Dog socks. And goat socks. We will be back tonight. Look how cute this place is. The pillow. Big pillow is happening this afternoon. They got live music tonight, so we'll have to come back. My first infield repair, if you can count town as infield. I noticed my rain pants had tears on the inside seams on both legs. So I'm using Gossamer gear tape. First, I put patches on the inside of both legs. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the outside and hopefully that'll do it. I'm carefully rounding the corners so that there's no corners that can peel up. It should stay on better this way. And then putting them in the exact same spot as the inside pieces. Good as new, hopefully. Here is the bustling one block radius of downtown Hot Springs. Told me, Mr. Charlie told me so. 